So I wanted this song to have like big band elements throughout the whole song just because Alistair is kind of from the 1920s. So um, the intro starts with that big band and this is what it sounds like without any effects. <laughs> And it's mostly contact instruments um, from like the complete library. So this is uh, session horns. That's kind of the lead there. These are like supporting chords. That's like an upright bass sound. This is like some sort of jazz kit or something. Oh, studio drummer. There you go. And we got a ragtime piano with keyscape. And then that's me playing the guitar horribly and running into a Waves guitar amp. And yeah, that's the big band sound all together. And then I threw um, RC20 on it. Um, to give it that kind of retro sound with a lot of EQ and the width knob pretty close to mono and then even more EQ with Pro Q3 just to kind of give it that bandpass like oldies sound. So the drop has the same big band sound in it but without the effects. Um, and I think I took the lead brass part and brought it up an octave, so I copied it, brought it up an octave, and then um, added OTT, and that kind of gives it this really bright, like, in-your-face kind of sound. And then the whole big band is side-chained pretty heavily with kickstart. Um, so that the kick and snare can really come through the mix. Some Nexus patches. Just the chords with a lot of transients, you know, a lot of attack to kind of bring that upbeat out in the mix. So for the bass, I know I wanted something kind of dubstep um, sounding, uh, just because the brass is so clean. I wanted something that's kind of a little bit, you know, grungier sounding in the low end. Um, and so for the dubstep part, generally what I'll do is I'll, I'll find samples and I'll use Serum to create like a loop um, and then I'll freeze that loop with the effects on it and then um, chop it up and take the parts that I like and rearrange it um, that way as an audio file. And to me that's just an easier way um, to handle any type of dubstep or glitch bass. <laughs> This first bit, some like real verby shots there, um, kind of give it some space. And then this is the beefy part. This is where the low end comes from. And then this last bit, some like fun sounds to kind of give everything texture. So then you add some dubstep drums and the drop sounds like this. So for the vocals, I'm pretty sure we tracked them using Gabe's TLM 103 and then into my Apollo um, with some UAD plugins, a preamp and compressor, and then into Ableton with a pretty standard vocal chain, Melodyne, tuning, um, LA-2A, some EQ to roll off the low end. And then this is saturation EQ, compression, a little bit of multiband compression, de and then at the end is RC20 um, to kind of, you know, give it that warm radio sound. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Hello. Can you tell me where I am? For the sends, I have, looks like a short verb, a uh, slap delay, yep, slap delay, and then so this one, this is a send that I like to put on a lot of my vocals. Um, instead of using a doubler or something to widen the vocals, I use Little Alter Boy. 
And if the formant is negative four or lower than that, um, I find that it creates this really cool kind of width. Um, and it also, because of the formant, it doesn't phase with the lead vocal, so you can have it pretty loud and present in the mix, and it just creates a really cool width to the vocal. Um, so if I play it, Hello, it's nice to meet you. Can you tell me where I am? So yeah, if you're wearing headphones, you can kind of hear that kind of interesting left-right panning that's happening. Um, and then, yeah, after that, I put an OTT to kind of roll off some low end. And yeah, and then the last send looks like uh, it only comes in at a certain spot. Oh yeah, right here. Power to bathe all of you in entertaining fire. So yeah, you can hear how the vocal starts to distort as it goes into the drop there, and that's just some little altar boy, devil lock deluxe, and then some OTT. And then this, that's just resampled from the lead vocal pitched up an octave, and then some delay and verb and some OTT. Here are the drop vocals. So that's just resampled with the same vocal chain as above, and then um, one of them with a little bit of EQ. So yeah, a little less high end because the brass are really bright in that chorus or in that drop part. So you don't need that brightness in the vocals. It kind of helps them sit back in the mix a little bit. And then the other one, um, yeah, with just a doubler on it, so that it creates that nice width. So in the last chorus, we had Gabe sing an octave higher, um, and that kind of helps the lead stand out a little bit more. Uh, I ran it through the same vocal chain, and then I think I put a hard tuner on it. And that just really helps that lead vocal stand out a bit more, because there's so much happening in that last chorus. Hey, sorry but you just got in my way. I promise honey I can't feel your pain. And maybe I enjoy it just a little bit. Does that make me insane? And that's it. That's insane. Um, if you have any questions about how I made this song or any other song, let me know in the comments below and I will try to answer everything. See you guys next time.